Uh, yes, that's Yay. how empowered Annie yeah. is in the studio. <laughs> I'm All right, <laughs> okay, you are going to be overwhelmed today, aren't you? He's just, you know. <laughs> Welcome back, Malaysia. It's Faris Alanani back in the studios again. And yes, you're still with us. We are talking to you about empowering women and the importance of empowering women. Mm -hmm. So joining us today in the studio is Murshida Said. Uh, who is a speaker, motivator, and trainer. So welcome yes. back, Mushida. Hey, thank She's you. She's been Hi, with yes. us uh, for quite some time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for a couple of episodes already. Yeah, very <laughs> empowered. <laughs> and I'm sandwiched between two empowered women. <laughs> so let's see what happens next. Okay, Eddie, go ahead. All right, now let's let's talk about empowering women itself. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's important for us to empower women? All right, first of all, why not we go into uh, what exactly is empowerment, right? Mm -hmm. Empowerment is basically the power within each and every one of us to use that uh, skills that we have, the power that we have yeah, within us to do something about our lives, mm -hmm. to improve our lives, our community, mm -hmm. our families and then of course from communities we go to the nation and right. the world. Right? right. So using whatever skills that you have in your current uh, uh, being right mm -hmm. now to be able to add value to people. Now that is empowerment. right? Why do we need to empower women especially? Because women, a lot of times people see women as, oh, you know, uh, women as uh, you're, you're just uh, you know like a, you're just on the buy on the buy you're just supporting <laughs> role or something like there. that um, you you you're here to help me with whatever job that I have to fulfill yeah. right mm -hmm. um, but if we switch our mindset and we see women as the mothers of our nation mm -hmm. right now when you see that right now you see the, the 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 people who are actually building the future generation especially our youths these are the people that we should focus on and empower because empowered mothers will empower the youths that's right, right? and the youth will be the people leading our nation yeah right and the nation will be the future right the the, the empowered nation in the, uh, will be the future of uh, uh and the right. success right i like that yeah. feeling mm. world in your head. No, but truly what she said just now, you know, empowering women, yeah. mothers of the nation. Yeah. I mean, that's, that that's, is yeah. something which yeah. is, I think, yeah. you know, beautifully said. So yeah. now, um, <clears throat> do you think that empower empowerment, because you just, you know, define empowerment, but mm. do you think that, you know, by being aggressive or knowing your right, you know, I mean, to be equal, for instance, yeah. I mean, that constitutes really what empowerment is for women? Um, actually, when we talk about equality, right, I mean, hello, hello, <laughs> both of you don't look the same at all, right? Mm. Men and women mm. will never be equal. Right, uh, in terms of appearance, yeah, right? we were just different. Yep. But when I talk about equality, we talk about equality in terms of empowerment. Yep. Everybody must be equally empowered. Everybody must be equally educated. Mm -hmm. Everybody must be uh, given equal love and respect. Mm -hmm. That is equality. All right. Um, why I'm inspired to talk about this topic this uh, this week is because um, of Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Right. I just right. had a lot of self reflection, mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, you know the last. Uh, couple of weeks I have been working a lot with women mm -hmm. uh, during the secretary's week, yep. during the Mother's Day sessions, uh, my conferences and a lot of the feedback that I get from women especially in corporations is that they, they feel that their, their voice is not heard mm. in the companies, right? Yep. Mm. Um, especially they, the young ones. The young women mm. especially and the young women who come in and they're very smart. They are at a manager level, mm -hmm. some of them. Um, they are very intelligent, they have a lot of experience but they say somehow their voice is not heard, mm. right? Um, and it's, they feel it, is, could, it could be because of their gender. So it could be, a, it, the discrimination is still there? Um, subtle, it's very subtle. Yeah. But what I'd like to uh, switch the mindset of a lot of people is that uh, when we look at these young women especially, not as somebody who's like a, a young pretty girls, you know, <laughs> in the office, yeah. Yeah. Uh, look at them as the future mothers of our nation. Yeah. These are the people we should give a lot of respect and empowerment as well as education and get them to move on to the next level mm. even in the companies, mm. right? Because uh, these people will be building the new nation. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, the aging population is increasing. We, we are going to be the aged population and Im imagine if we continue with this um, uh, education, yeah, uh, educating yeah. people on oh we must compete all the time, mm. you know, uh, we, uh, we must beat the competition. If we talk about collaboration, right, more about uh, nurturing, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the new generation, the, the youths will be the future leaders That's of true. tomorrow. That's true, be yeah. it men or women. Now, yeah. Mushida, there's a lot of uh, people out there, when you talk about empowerment, yeah. the word itself can be a little bit uh, daunting for certain people, especially the other gender. Mm -hmm. And uh, for them, it's like when you say a woman is highly empowered and she knows her rights, mm -hmm. uh, for them it's like, oh no, this is a very aggressive woman. It comes off as an aggressive mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. that this is a woman who stands out there and is not ashamed to say her, speak her mind. So yeah. how, do you, how okay. do you debunk that? Em empowerment does not mean aggression, yeah. right? Empowerment means knowing the power within you to do something 
uh, with your life, yeah. you know, to improve the life and the lives around others. Mm -hmm. And you cannot do it alone. You have to collaborate. And of course, you know, God made men and women, you know, to, to be alongside with each other sure. so that we can work together. All right. There will be strengths men are good at, uh, women are good at, but we have to focus on a certain goal that we want to achieve instead of competing mm -hmm. and fighting over, oh, this is my right, you know, I'm better in this or I'm better in this, you know, I'm, I'm more powerful in this. So we know each other's strengths, we recognise that, right, and we work together to build something. Mushida, you mentioned just now two very important words, I think, competition and cooperation. Yeah, competition, I think for, I mean, being me and myself, I mean, it's basically common in our world, masculine world, yeah. competition, we compete against yeah. each other. Yeah. But for women, I think one of the values that yeah. maybe even men appreciate in, yeah. in, in women is mm -hmm. basically, you know, cooperation, collaboration, yeah. you know, these kind of values. So yeah. how do you think that women, you know, can actually enhance this, this, this value and then tell men that basically instead of competing, you can do better or you'll be better off by cooperating. He's one of the changed ones. Yeah. <laughs> I have two, yeah. I have two people because we don't open it to you guys before. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but a lot of the mindset of the uh, older systems, you know, if you mm. look at uh, competition, you know, there's always a high stress level. People are always mm. trying to see, mm. you know, um, I, I need to get what, you know, uh, if not other people will get get it before me, you know, so we're going to fight for it. So with this kind of attitude that a lot of times we have been ingrained in our society, mm -hmm. you know, in order to succeed, you have to compete. Mm. Yeah. But if you look at collaboration, if we join hands together and, you know, I have my strengths, you have your strengths, why not we collaborate? Yeah. We actually get a bigger pie, all right, mm. of everything. That's true. true, that's true. So if we're looking at collaboration, I'd like to get back to that again. Um, how do you then, you know, um, empower women. I, let's not use that word too much because I think we, we've over commercialized on that word. Let's talk about giving women or encouraging women to speak up their mind. How, how do they start that? Where can we get them okay. to start? Most of the time people are, do not feel empowered because uh, of the fact that they don't know their purpose, mm -hmm. right? They feel that they are trying to please everybody mm -hmm. in their lives. They want to be everything to everybody or what people expect them right. to be, right? Uh, not knowing who they are, yeah. right? First of all, know their strengths, mm -hmm. right? Um, I have this activity that I play, of course, gratitude list is very important. Another thing that I, I do to empower myself is um, write the what I like about me, mm. you know, list. Right, okay. so you can do that. You look at your. What I do is I always divide divide myself in four segments. Segments, which is the body, the mind, the heart, and the spirit. Mm -hmm. What I like about my body. What I like about my my physique. Mm -hmm. You know, my smile or something about your eyes. Just always remember, do not uh, degrade yourself physically because you are not creating your own body. Your your God is creating your own uh, Self your body. Yes. Mm. So you appreciate every single thing that you have in your life, right? In terms of your body, your mind, your heart, and your spirit. Alright, so uh, focus on the what I like about me yeah. first, right? And then after that, when you feel empowered, you have that strength, right? And then you see how you can contribute to, uh, to people, to society. Mm. Yeah. Alright, okay. Now, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about men. <laughs> let's not talk about women right now. I know empowering women, but let's talk about men. Uh, yeah, yes. how we influence the process of empowering Correction. women. Correction. How do we change their mindset? <laughs> no, I don't believe this in changing. This is an age-old yeah. argument that Farizan and I have. We've had this for years. <laughs> we've known each other for years and we've been arguing it all, the, all along. How will I affect Annie in her process of empowering herself? Okay, you now know? she's correcting me. Okay, what was the corrected version? Basically, how do, how do you change a person's mindset? Uh, let, let's talk about the male gender. How mm -hmm. do you change their per perception of women and how do you you then try to communicate to them to say, hey, you know what, I need to be hurt too, so let's work at this. Yeah. Instead of looking aggressive to going in there mm. and fighting, let, how do we then change that? No, I, what we I believe is we them. cannot change other people, we can only change ourselves. God can change other people, right? Mm. So what we do is, uh, we empower ourselves, right? Why people do not change, maybe our uh, the other gender does not change perception of us is because we are trying to be something that they expect us to be mm -hmm. and that is not who we are mm -hmm. and that kills people in, on the inside. So what we need to do is to empower ourselves to showcase a lot of love and respect because love and respect is actually a very, very powerful energy. When you exude that, you know, to other people, they will see it and there's a, there will be a conflict about how they, they perceive about you mm -hmm. and that is how people change their perception. And probably they think, oh, this pretty girl, uh, maybe she's, she's uh, not smart, you know, not, not to be taken yeah, seriously. That's... But when you stand up and you showcase yourself with a lot of empowerment, love and respect yourself, right, the person will also change in terms okay. of the Okay, all, right. all right. So... That's very conclusive. There you okay. go. You've got your lesson for the day. And the men out there, you've got your lesson for the day as well. Thank Empowered you very much. Women. Thank Thanks, you very much, Thank you okay. so much. Thank you.